Fireflies are magic. Nothing beats watching a summer night come to life with their beautiful glow. But how much do you know about our state insect? I'm naturalist Katie, and tonight we are diving into the magic of fireflies. So first things first, fireflies aren't actually flies. They're beetles. They undergo a complete metamorphosis, starting off as an egg, hatching into a larva, which feeds until it forms a pupa, and eventually emerging as an adult. Something you may not know is that fireflies not only glow in their adult stage, but also in their larval stage, commonly referred to as glowworms. However, glowing as an adult is for attracting mates, while glowing in the larval stage is to deter predators. This glowing behavior actually first evolved as an example of aposmatic warning, which is using things like sounds, smells, colors, and light to warn predators of undesirable taste. So this could be seen in monarch butterflies with their bright orange and black coloration, which tells predators, I am poisonous, don't eat me. And in the case of glowworms, that glow warns predators that their body contains an unpalatable steroid compound. So how exactly do fireflies glow? Through a process known as bioluminescence, which is a biochemical reaction happening within a living organism's body. So fireflies actually have a special light emitting organ where they combine a chemical known as luciferin, enzymes known as luciferases, oxygen, and the fuel for cellular work, ATP. This produces what is known as a cold light, meaning that almost no energy is lost to heat, making it nearly 100% efficient, and in fact, the most efficient light source in the entire world. So fireflies know exactly what they're doing with their efficient light source that actually comes in a variety of colors, from green to yellow to even red. So we love these insects, but unfortunately, their populations are declining worldwide mainly due to things like light pollution, habitat loss, and pesticide use. So if you want to protect this beautiful nighttime display, here's a few ways that you can help. Number one, turn off your outside lights so that they can communicate. Number two, provide leaf litter for habitat. Number three, don't use fertilizers or pesticides on your lawn. Number four, don't over mow your lawn. And number five, take part in Firefly Watch to help document their populations. Mass Audubon conducts an awesome citizen science project known as Firefly Watch, where anyone in North America can spend 10 minutes a week observing and counting fireflies from their own backyard. If you want to learn more about this program, you can go to massaudubon.org slash fireflywatch. So I hope you had some fun learning about our fascinating firefly, our state insect, and I will see you next time. Bye.